a circular view of the Crosstown Walk, the Crosstown Trail, a crossing which leads to three different parks and a recreation center. One can endlessly keep on going in the three different directions. Today, Sunday morning, I decided to walk on the Crosstown Trail of uh, Walker's Line. And because it's a well-washed area with night-long downpour, the so-called abnormal rain, which is indeed all these drops, raindrops sticking on the grass blades, tell you that this so-called abnormal rain is the normal, the new normal. That's, that's called a very slow, slow climate shift. It's happening, it looks in many places of the world. You can start calling it climate change, but not in our lifetimes. Let's hurry slowly about giving fluctuating weathers a name of climate change. The mega, mega flood in the Indian subcontinent is maybe a normal. We don't realize that the huge, huge plain of the Indo-Gangetic region has not been created by man. Has been, but it has been created by the rivers, their floods, their massive floods, spreading over hundreds of kilometers. So if that was the dimension of floods in the past, why crib? You enjoy the flood plains and you crib at the floods. The modern man with the synthetic aperture radar technology, the global positioning system, all the knowledge through the satellites has all the capability of planning, harnessing sustainably the massive rainwater pouring down. Nearly 40,000 cubic kilometers water pours down on the planet, on the continents every year. How it distributes, that can keep on changing. Here this greenery, the lush greenery, the grandiose greenery, the spread of greenery, is a telltale sign that enough water comes down everywhere in some form or other. Man must learn to conserve, preserve and enjoy the greenery. And manage the water resources which nature gives. There is a limit to water which can be conserved underground. Every reservoir has a limit. There is a limit to which the rivers can carry water. There is a limit. That limit has been curtailed because we have done massive deforestation. We have cut in India in the name of so-called development which I call degradation, thoughtless, reckless degradation. And if you cut out the trees, which actually are the best way to conserve the water which is falling down, 
then you have this concrete jungles hills pasted with concrete posted with concrete on all the slopes and rivers filled up with silt lakes filled up with silt dams filled up with silt give you access water in the cities not that this the water pouring is normal it's highly highly abnormal the damage is inevitable but the damage could have been much less the cross town trail gives me ideas for my lecture tomorrow on the deadly floods why so deadly that's the title for tomorrow the deadly floods why so deadly indeed very very painful what's happened western disturbance and monsoon coming together western disturbance almost coming throughout the winter winter terribly delayed up to may we had cool cool winds the cool breeze in the morning highly abnormal looks all that's abnormal he is going to be normal but most enjoyable is the greenery which must be enjoyed god bless humanity across god bless these little birds which are our most most precious heritage without them how lonely how funny we will feel we take them for granted we should not